pay the bucks as rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family just thank you for participating in the videos dropping comments being positive telling me about the things that are positive that are impacting your life you're being comfortable and being more open and vocal about you know your true gift which is truly a blessing and with that being said let me turn that down a little bit with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just opening up, telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video is just getting you good vibes and peace and understanding and you want to go ahead share with others please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites thank you so much for showing love and support to the content of the uh, channel or to the channel and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video that's why I meant to say so uh, today my meditation video that I'm listening to is called Zen meditation healing music deep sleep relaxing stress relief calming music Pray Shooting Music 3. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about empaths trying to deal with closure when there isn't any. When there isn't none there. That's what I meant to say. Isn't none there. Um, it has been crazy going through trials and tribulations, especially for me. Um, and I know it must be for you as well. You know, um... It's just like some people don't believe my situation and some people do. And it is just like going through this. I would never wish this on my worst enemy or, you know, wouldn't even want anybody to relate to this feeling. And if you have went through something like this, I'm truly sorry because I know what this feeling is about. You know, not being able to reconnect with my dad, not actually knowing, you know, you know nothing really about my mom. Um reaching out to family and it's just not at the right time for us to connect yet and it is just like I have to try to find peace within myself peace within my heart my mind knowing that my father is not suffering anymore knowing that he's not going through pain um you know and it was just like going through all this situation and knowing more about my dad's background and you know what my dad had experienced growing up as a child and even going through his adulthood you know it really hurt me to the core and you know it just hurt me more when I couldn't be there to support him be there to just to be there for him when he was going through all the things he was going through and you know and it, it was just knowing that you know my father was you know kept away and there was lies there was deception you know and you know a lot of people that know my situation was like how come he didn't reach out to you and he truly did he really tried in so many ways he tried to reach out and um like award announcements he would say certain things and I you know and it's like now I would see it like it would be certain acceptance speeches he would say something about it's like I, I have a thing about creating things I haven't seen before or it's like my inspiration is like a new best friend you know I'm you know I love surprises I hope you are too and I was you know and I remember seeing that on the board uh show and then telling my parents I wonder what his surprise is and knowing they knew what it was was, they just didn't want to say anything and it's just like when I can look back and see all the things that I went through all the connections that me and my father have I have to try to cherish that you know at first it was like heartbreaking and sad just go through all that and just seeing the truth and it was not pretty at all very ugly and but it gave me motivations to do my videos it gave me courage to go ahead and step out and let people know the things that I was going through and the things that you know I've overcome and the things that I'm still healing from and you know trying to forgive everything because it, it was just like 
you know, trying to find that closure. And it's just like when I try to forgive my adopted dad and my stepmom for things, you know, more things will come out that I would remember. It would be certain things that would trigger off. And it just brings those emotions all back over again. And it's just like, you know, when is this feeling going to ever end? You know, when I, I just want to be able to forgive them so I can move on with my life so it can unblock my blessings. And, you know, and it's just, you know, trying to find that closure, especially from people that constantly keep trying to contact you and not trying to be involved in your life, you know, for generous reasons, for trying to be, you know, trying to be supportive to your daughter. No, it's just <laughs> trying to make sure your secret doesn't get out and trying to make sure that you don't get in any trouble. But it's like, I can't allow that to stop me, you know, even though it hurts, you know, when I see that, you know, he's reaching out, it's like, you know, it's not for anything positive. It's not, you know, you wanting to reach out to me because you care, because you don't, you know, it's just for selfish reasons. So it's just like, I have to take that one day at a time, you know, even though I know this is a lot to have to forgive somebody for, you know, who lied to me, you know, they lied to me about my, my whole life, my whole life was altered, you know, there was things that they took away from me, you know, family I've lost, I mean, that that's a lot to have to forgive somebody for, but I know even though they're not sorry and they're not trying to tell the truth and trying so, so hard to hide it. You know, I have to keep strong. I have to keep having that courage, having the patience that knowing, you know, my truth will be heard. You know, things will go on. So it's just like when you're going through something, it can be really hard to deal with, really hard to handle. Some, it, that, that pill, it can be hard to swallow. It's just like sometimes you could be thinking about something that really messed you up mentally and emotionally. And it could be, you can think about it and you'll get that lump in your throat. Like, you know, I can't believe I went through this or, you know, I can't believe this feeling's coming back up again. But that's just letting you know, hey, you know, this feeling's still there and you need to acknowledge it. You need to be able to heal from whatever is hurting you. It's not hurting you anymore, even though it might still have an effect on you. You have to be able to make peace with that. You know, no matter if you have gotten an apology or if the person has came back to you and admitted that they felt bad for doing what they did to you. You know, you have to just take that apology that you never gotten and just move on because it'll make you feel better. Even though it might seem like, oh, you know, I'm not going to feel better after this, but it's just not going to do any good to hold this this feeling inside. It's not going to do anything. It just stop you from your 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 full process, your full 360. And I have to tell myself that a lot because it's just like, you know, old memories will come back that, you know, that I forgot all about. It's just like somebody having amnesia for so long and it takes something either, you know, a trip and fall to bump their head again for everything to come back or a certain thing to happen that will trigger all these memories and it's just like with mine all of them came slugger back at one time so already dealing with everything that i got to deal with with grief and trying to find closure all of a sudden these memories come back on top of that too and i'm just like wow don't lose it don't lose it so it's just like when you're going through stuff and it might seem hard at times it's something that you have to heal from you have to give yourself that grieving process you have to give yourself that time to process everything to be able to let go so don't have, don't be hard on yourself and try to find that closure even when there's nothing <laughs> to get that closure from but just go ahead and try to find it so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are blessed highly favored and truly loved and know that there is always somebody out there praying for your better days and i will see you on my next video and I'm, my post notification shout out today is Amanda Lee. I hope you're doing blessed, sweetie. And I will talk to y'all later. Send out, um, no, I'm about to say send out as much love and light. I already said that. So I'm sending out a lot of love and light, infinite abundance, uplifting abundance, and loving and healing vibes if you truly need it. And give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Give me a uh, give me a shout out line or two I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you know you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and like and even share on your social media favorites if I didn't say that again I'm telling you again but much love peace and be wild much blessings to you bye <laughs>